Hey, hi YouTube. I hope you all guys are doing great. So in this video, we are going to see about parameters. Uh, initially, in the previous video, we have seen a lot of about what is LLM, what are the applications of LLM, where we can use LLM, how we can use LLM, as well as we have seen about the fine tuning pre-trained model. And I have explained with some beautiful examples. So this is a continuation video. And definitely in this video, we are going to see about the parameters like how what is parameters and how it influence the generative AI, how it influence the generating capacity of LLM. But before that, uh, a huge shout out to this um, blog on Medium about the parameters. You can also read about it. It is having some very be um, be beautiful visuals, which I have also used in my uh, presentation. So you can, I will put this link in the description box. You can definitely have a read out of it. Okay, so let's see, uh, let's start with today's topic that is parameters. So basically parameters are LM parameters are settings that you can adjust to control uh, how actually, how they can affect the quality, diversity and creativity of the generated text. Okay, what I mean by creativity and diversity. So think like, let's suppose you are trying to target a use case where uh, maybe factual knowledge is very, very important. Then you have to be very concise with your answer. So the parameters will affect. Parameters are the main thing, okay? Main settings which will bring this change. Let's suppose you are trying to make an app which is not very factual. Like let's suppose you enter a text and you want a joke from it. So in that case also, the parameters will make the settings that will uh, basically, uh, that can make difference in the generating capacity. Okay, some of the common LLM parameters are temperature, number of tokens, top P, presence penalty, frequency penalty, and also there is one more which is top K. Okay, so let's see. First one is the temperature. It's not the room temperature or something like that. Uh, LLM temperatures. So tokens are sorted by probability of their occurrence. So this is an example. Let me give you some um, idea about what actually is temperature. So temperature is like a parameter, it's actually a parameter that controls like how much randomness is introduced. Okay, so this is very, very important. Randomness. Okay, so a higher temperature means more diversity and unpredictability, uh, while a lower temperature means more coherence and consist consistency. Okay, so if you have a higher temperature, then it the randomness will increase. Okay. And if you will have a lower temperature, the randomness will be decreased. For example, let me give you an example like the sky is okay. Just for a second, just don't see the words. Just see the what the statement is the sky is. So suddenly it will come to your brain that blue because we all know that the sky is blue. So if we set the temperature as zero of the LLM model that we are using, then the answer will be blue. But if we keep at 0 0.5, so maybe the sky is dark. Okay, but if you set to one, then it's like a very different, the randomness will increase. It will uh, give some crazy text like the sky is falling. Okay, which definitely, which will not come, that will not strike uh, first in your brain when you are um, asking this question, the sky is. So basically, if you are thinking like randomness, if you want the randomness, the temperature should be high. If, the, if you want factual answer, the temperature should should be low it uh, whenever we use this models now we have to set it like if you want factual answer then temperature should be 0 0.0 0 0.1 kind of thing but if you want a very distorted answer very random answer okay then you should have a high temperature okay so low temperature means model tends to pick from high tokens uh, high temperature means model uh, tends to pick from low tokens okay so in other words, you can say a high temperature means that the model is more likely to generate tokens that are less likely to be occurred. Okay. And uh, which can lead to more creative and unexpected test. Okay. Because this is a creative part falling. The sky is falling. This is creative, but this is consistent. This is naturally we know the sky is blue. So a lower temperature means that the model is more likely to generate tokens that are more likely to occur. Okay, so if the temperature is lower, then the answer will be more consistent. Okay, so it varies from use to use case to use case where you want low temperature, where you want high temperature. Then let's see about what actually is number of tokens. 
Okay, so the number of tokens is a parameter that controls how long the generated text is. Okay, for example, if I write um, the AI is okay, so we are having three words. It doesn't mean that we are also having three tokens. Okay, the token definition is something different. Okay, it depends upon model to model. Okay, the number of tokens is a parameter that controls how long the generated text is. The higher number of tokens means more detail, obviously, more words. Um, similarly, you can say that token is equivalent to words only, okay, but it's not equivalent. While a lower number of tokens means more consistency and simplicity, okay. So let me give an example. Let's suppose you're, you have selected a number of tokens as 10 uh, and you ask what is in artificial intelligence? then maybe it will try to answer it like uh, it is a field of computer science this is very concise and simple text okay but also very vague and incomplete one okay like if you want answer in 10 tokens what it will be like tell me about india so it will say india is a country that's all okay so here you can see this is concise but obviously it's not complete okay but let's suppose we increase the number of tokens means increase the number of words in the output then the same question like what is artificial intelligence the answer will be something different like it can be it is a field of computer science that studies how to create machines and systems that can perform blah 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 so this is a more detailed and informative text but little somewhat general and broad okay and let's suppose we make it the tokens as 100 and we ask what is artificial intelligence then obviously it will be in a very big paragraph okay so number of tokens are basically again it depends upon application to application when you want very crisp answer then the number of tokens should be less but when you more want more detailed answer the number of tokens should be high okay then comes the top p okay so top p is a parameter that controls how many words are considered candidates for the next word in the text generation process okay for example if you have a uh, low top p okay then you will have a lower bunch of words like let's suppose i am having top p uh, my value of top p is very less okay then in that case you will be having less options like for who are the contestant for the question the sky is blue cloudy full of stars dark steady okay but if you increase the top p if you are having higher top p then the model will pick from the blue zone it will having more number of candidates beautiful falling and all other keywords will be also included so if you want if you want like uh, if you want to give less number of options then you should have a top p level as lower so top p means control how many words okay so obviously like if you want like if you want more accurate answer then obviously top p should be less if you want less accurate answer then it should be or you want more creative answer then top p should be high okay then let's move to a very important parameter that is top k okay it will be heavily used so top k parameter in lm you can say it's a hyper parameter that controls the diversity of the generated text um, it restricts the model to only consider the top k most probable uh, tokens at each step of generation okay mm, this can help to improve the fluency and coherence of the generated text but it can also reduce the diversity of the output okay so here are some examples of how top k can affect so let's suppose we are having an input the cat set on the if i have top k as one the result will be very consistent like mat but if i have top k as three it will be having three different options like mat hat set obviously it is also consistent but this one is very very consistent but as we go on increasing the top k like mat hat set mat hat set mat hat set so we are not having very consistent answer as we are increasing the top k okay so if you set the top k parameter to one the lm will only consider the most probable token at each step of generation like in there this will result in very fluent and coherent text but it, it is also like uh, very repetitive and predictable okay if you set the top k parameter to a higher value the lm will consider a wide range of possible tokens at each step but this result uh, in more diverse output but it may also has less fluent and coherent okay like you can see it here only okay so again it depends upon the use case to use case let's suppose you are building a chatbot okay 
and you have stored your all the data in the vector store and you uh, for each question you want to um, generate maybe three different um, products so the top k will be three so uh, uh, in every step of generation it will bring three results to you okay there are different applications to it like chatbots text summarization creative writing okay so the optimal value of the top k parameter will vary depending on the specific application it is important to experiment with the different values to find the setting that produce the different uh, the best result and obviously it's not like there is no book you don't have to play by book that okay top p should be this temperature should be this top k should be this it depends upon the use case to use case you have to hit and trial and see which will work which works better for you that's it for this video and uh, in the next upcoming videos we will see a lot of more topics on llm so these are the topics that we have to cover like neural network deep learning this architecture this is very important data set benchmark prompt so one by one we will try to cover all these things and obviously we are not going into very deep because uh, these are all the topics uh, which i feel you should know uh, to understand llm in a better way okay to use the llm in a better way instead of directly going and testing to llm you should know these things so that you can have a feel of why i am setting it what is temperature what is top k because initially if someone practice and they don't know what is top k temperature top p they are just going to play around it it's also a good practice to play around it but initially at least you should have inform basic information about this keywords that what they are how they contribute to the content generation how they help in generative ai so it can have a you can have a better performance okay so um, that's it for this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section i will feel very happy to help you and that's it for this video if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe and uh, meet you in the next video till then bye bye